dogs of love. love. Louder, hard, faster, and louder, and bigger venues. Play more shows. Wembley. Get more mosh pits. Yeah. Crowd surfing. I'm a musician, so I play music every day. But I'm here all the time. Music is awesome. Whether it's good or not, they're they're doing it. So you are like, yeah, freaking good job, man. I like I like your stuff. Yeah, they they freaking rock, man. Like it's just you know some people got it. Some people don't. If they don't, you still have a good time. Girls are uh, dancers, and uh, yeah. Christine and Marcella, they're actually professional belly dancers. And they morphed a little bit into a punk version of their normal dancing and gave us, graced us with their presence tonight as, as a favor to us. Parazod belly dancers. I dress like this every day. <laughs> That's a fine kill. Thank you. Why Whatever, would... some people don't know. The difference between a kilt and the skirt is underwear. And I'll let you figure that out. I started when uh, I first saw an SG with the Angus Young playing from ACDC and I said I want to play like, that guitar like that. And I found also that the louder I played, I didn't have to hear anybody talk. I just, it was a nice way to escape, especially get my parents to stop talking to me. King of the monster licks right here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I was tapping on my desk in school, and the, the, I had a parent-teacher conference about you know, yes. the desk and distracting the class, and then my parents decided to get a drum lesson. I wanted to stab my snare drum, but I don't think I can afford to do it. I want to start the stabbing of the snare drum. Just remember that. I started this shit. Right. People kick them over, burn them, but I stab them. I was actually the first American to get arrested in Hong Kong after British the British tried tra traded it over to the Chinese. So I was looking at three years. Acting too cool for the crowd. It's like, why do you show up to a place to be seen? No one cares who you are, they don't know your name. You should be here to have fun and have a good time, not not like, oh I'm so cool, look at me. Oh yeah, I'm like number one guy. Like no one cares who you are, dude. I just I can't abide by that man. People show up with attitude and stuff. And it's just like, why you gotta be like that? My younger brother is a monster guitar player and he made me quit playing drums and start playing bass. Playing, our parents had a, uh, we called it the dungeon. And it was a music room downstairs, like an old bomb shelter. And I used to play all night long. Mayhem? <laughs> this guy serves Fiji. These guys are real deal, but only in off stage. I pushed you twice. You pushed me back once. That's cool. That's hit or miss, man. That's that's awesome. You're having a good time. I could tell. Well, see the thing is, is I've had my teeth knocked out so many times, specifically mostly here. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm just glad that. Griff, this yeah. is my husband, Mike. Oh, this he was husband? holding down the pit. Yeah, yeah, so he yeah. was. He was rocking it. Yeah. I play bass too, so I love him. I'm only 26. I'm young. Yeah, you are young. And it's like, yeah, you know, 
I was raised on punk rock music. I remember driving to preschool, my dad's playing the Attics and Dead Kennedys and stuff. As you know, so it's like no different to me. But I see like people that are like my friends are like, oh man, you're still going out, and I'm like, well, you're pretty young, man. Like chill, you know. Go have a good time. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm tired. In their twenties? Yeah. And it's like you don't remember the nights you stay in. Oh, hey, remember that night you stayed up and watched freaking soap operas or whatever? Or Jersey Shore? Yeah, that was a fun night, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, the guy in the Faithful, we like that. Yeah, we like yeah. that. We just needed about 30 more of them. Most of the time they end. Yeah. Dogs of love. love. A lot of the stuff that I write is about recovery, because all of us in the band are all in recovery from drugs and alcohol. Uh, collectively, I think we have about 48 years of clean and sober time. Wow. Well, when Wilson and I actually used to do stand-up comedy together in the 80s, before our cocaine addiction brought us to the point where we were too paranoid to get on stage. <laughs> and uh, one show, I was playing my guitar with him doing comedy and singing, and I got so drunk on 151 Bacardi that I passed out on the stage and had to get someone called the cops. That was the finest <laughs> hour. <laughs> yeah, so we all know each other from uh, I was on going to meetings. Board. Yeah, certain types of meetings. <laughs> meaning of life is get out there, have fun, and don't care what other people think. I'm wearing a stupid hat. Like, I'm wearing it because it's cold. I don't care what it looks like. I know it's kind of dumb. You know? Yeah. It looks good, right? Yeah, we love it's like, the outfit. Like, I've got a couple friends. You know, they're girls. They're all like punk rock and, and whatever. And they shave their heads. And I'm like, cool, good for you. Why? Because you want to and you don't care what other people think. That's awesome. Right. Shave your head, do it. And you know that person who points at you and they're like, you know they're all old or whatever, not necessarily old, but they're, they're just the freaking fuddy daddy and they're yeah. like, shame on you. I like doing that, you know. Like, <laughs> Go easy on make fun of all this. No, dude, you're freaking rock, man. Shut up, you're not old. Age yeah. is a mindset. That's right. it it's is. all relative. It really is a mindset. E equals MC square and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>